Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to talk about a question that I received in an email from a certain person. Thank you for emailing me. And their question is, how do we tap into positive energy as their mind is full of negative thoughts? Great question. And this is something that is so prominent now with so many people. I'm sure you'd agree. We're all getting full of negative thoughts. Step um, What isolation and mandates, etc. are doing is making us have mental health issues. Okay. Okay. So all this negativity comes in. Okay. Feeling of doom, feelings of helplessness, etc. So how do we stop this occurring? So I'm going over to my book. Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven. How do we be like heaven beings, okay? Over on page 341, I've got Raise Your Vibration Exercises. So over the next couple of pages, it all goes in to how to raise up our vibration, okay? So I've also been researching it a little bit more this morning. So I've got some examples here on things that we can do that are straight from my book as well on how to raise our vibrations and stay positive so we don't get these negative thoughts coming in all the time. Okay, so number one, stay aware. Now, well, how is that possible? We, we sit and we pause. That's what I'm talking about. You're aware of any noises around you. I can hear crows outside because it's morning here on Saturday, the 23rd of July. So I can hear the birds. I can hear traffic on the road. I can hear my own voice. I know that my cat is asleep on my bed. I know other things around me. So I'm aware of my situation and my surroundings. But then I go deeper and I think, how am I feeling? What's my mood today? Am I happy? Am I sad? Am I frustrated or am I excited? Ask yourself that. Am I happy or sad? Am I excited or just me? So ask yourself those ones. So then we're aware of our emotions, okay? Then we've also got to consider what we are believing. Is it fact based on evidence or is it just propaganda from other external sources? Because most of our belief system is what we're told from others. So if you're hearing something, I don't know, I don't want to make this political about what's going on, but let's just say someone's saying to you, I don't know, the sky is pink. What evidence do we have? Do you go outside and physically look into the sky and you say, eh, it's blue today? How would you know it's raining? Okay, so we, we go against the grain of what we're being told. We use critical thinking to stay aware of what is fact. Okay, now if you do want to write these down, get a pen and paper because here comes number two. So number one, stay aware. Number two, get your work done get your work done make a to-do list and keep yourself busy the more that we sit and do nothing the more our brain creates all these false realities of things that could happen they oh my god tomorrow's going to be an awful day because oh it's going to just work out like this it hasn't even occurred yet but we create this false reality and then our brain believes it because we've thought it, okay? So get those thoughts out of your head and only stick with the truth of what we know. This is how we get rid of limited beliefs, okay? So what we want to do is base it again on number one, fact as opposed to belief system, okay? So whenever you have these thoughts of anything negative, you say to yourself, is this based on fact? Is this true to me and every other single person on the planet? You can say no, because no one ever has the same experience, correct? Okay, so that's number two. 
Make your to-do list and make sure that you do it. Keep yourself busy all the time. It keeps our brain active, it keeps our body muscles active and we have a better positive life, okay? Next one, daily affirmations. I've got videos on my channel about daily affirmations. The little thumbnail says daily affirmations. So I want to start doing at least one of those videos every week. So start watching them. Start saying your I am's. I am happy. I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I am rich. I am beautiful. Whatever it is that you want to create. Okay. I actually said to myself years ago, I want long hair because I had short hair. So I went and got hair extensions. <sighs> Didn't work out. Because I said to myself, I, not I want fake ones, I want real long hair. Now I've got it because I created it up here. So our daily affirmations work. So that's number three on the list, daily affirmations. Number four, look out for the best in others. Now, how do we find the best in others? We start with the physical Whenever I meet someone for the first time, I make it a golden rule of my own that I compliment them for something that no one else would mention. So I like picking out ties, belts, shoes and bags. That's my three, four, that I like commenting on people. Oh, I really like that tie. Is it made of silk? Because oh, I have a thing about silk ties, okay? I love complimenting people's shoes. Okay, even if they're the old scruffiest broken pair you've ever seen, you say, wow, how comfortable are they? Because you've worn them so often. Okay, so there's always something you can say even about the yuckiest thing people have got. Okay, so compliment others because what this does is when we find the good in others, it's the mirror effect. What we put out being good and finding good in others, our brain is then going to find the good within ourselves. Okay, now the next one, number five, posture. Okay, now when you put your shoulders back, you stick your bum out like you're riding a horse so your stomach is arched, you actually walk tall. Okay, now what happens when we walk tall? is that our brain is now functioning at a higher vibration. People who are depressed, people who have other mental health disorders, always look down. It's because they're wearing that weight of the sh on the shoulders. They always look down. But when we put our head up and our chin up, so you can see nose hair, <laughs> don't do it to me, please. But when you put your shoulders back, your breasties come out and your bum goes back a little bit so you arch your back and you walk you actually feel better in your mind because now you're walking with confidence now you're strutting like you know the best about everything even though and you haven't got a clue nobody else doesn't know, need to know this stuff but when you start walking tall with your posture it means that we're aligned within our chakras as well. Okay, so this stuff all connects spiritually. So number seven, I've written down again, compliment others. Okay, the more we talk good about others, the more our own life becomes good as well based on that reflection or that mirror effect. Okay, so the more we're nicer to others, the more others will be nicer to us and good things occur. This is not rocket science, guys. It is pure energy of the universe. Now, let me go over to page 341 in my book, How to Raise Your Vibration Techniques. Okay. Okay. All right. So I've got first one. I've got eight ways to raise your vibration. Become conscious of your thoughts. Everything, stay aware of every thought you have. If you're thinking, oh gosh, nah, cut yourself down right there. Stop, 
I'm not going to let you think those thoughts today. We want to be happy. We want to be strong and powerful. We want to be in our own authority. We want to be happy. So start telling yourself that stuff, okay? Next one I've got, become conscious of your thoughts. Listen to what we say. Every word other people hear, okay? Now, the first one that we say is, this is straight from 342 in my book. So it's down here. I am always broke. Wow. I'm just going to throw the book away at this point. Because there's so many in there. I am always broke. See how I just said I am? No. Cut that down. I'm not always broke. I have money coming in. Money goes out. I'm supporting myself. Even though if I live day to day, week to week or month to month. But I am surviving in this harsh reality of what they have made in society. I'm doing my best. I am financially getting through life. I am, here's our daily affirmations, guys. I am always paying my bills when they're due. I am always putting food on the table for my kids, my family, my parents, whatever it is that I feed, my animals, okay? My 101 alpacas. I am always, (laughs) I just heard what I said. 101 alpacas okay i am the more we say this guess what the more positive loving energy is coming into us which then emits out through that ripple effect okay so i hope the person who asked me this question examples of how to tap into my energy my positive energy because my mind is always full of negative thoughts As soon as you have those negative thoughts, you go, ah, stop, cut that down, shut up, Linda. You're not going to think those thoughts today because I am happy, I am healthy, I am fit and I am strong. I am going to have the best day possible today. I am going to sleep well tonight. I am going to get all my jobs done tomorrow. I am financially secure. I am doing my best in a real itful world with a capital shoot. If you know what I'm talking about, I am getting through this world the best I can. And we've got to remember, guys, we're all only human. I have my days where I'm a quivering wreck. Okay, you don't want to see it. Okay, I have my days where I have nightmares and can't sleep. Okay, because we're all only human. Okay. So it's okay to be honest and raw about this with other people. It is okay to go up to someone and say, you know what, I'm really not coping that well. What are you doing to get through this life? Because they may give you some sort of really cool answer and you think, wow, didn't even think of doing that. So get out there, meet your tribe. Find other like-minded people. And if you are married and you've got kids and no one's supporting you like emotionally with your spiritual growth it doesn't mean you have to pack up your bags and leave because you love these people it just means find someone to have a chat with every day or every couple of days for you know like a phone call because the more we stay spiritual guys the more we're going to win this war because that's my next video that i'm going to do in a few days we are in a war have you got your armor on Because we need our strength for what is coming next year. Maybe I shouldn't do a video about that one. But that will be for another day. Because today, we have to stay positive. And I hope I've just given you some ideas on how to stay positive. Have a great day, guys. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.